It is estimated that one in five women on college campuses has been sexually assaulted during their time there. One in five. These young women worked so hard just to get into college. Often their parents are doing everything they can to help them pay for it. So when they finally make it there, only to be assaulted, that is not just a nightmare for them and their families. It's an affront to everything they've worked so hard to achieve. It's totally unacceptable. Three years ago, we sent every school district, college, and university that receives federal funding new instructions clarifying their legal obligations to prevent and respond to sexual assault. And we have seen progress, including an inspiring wave of student-led activism and a growing number of students who found the courage to come forward and report attacks. And that's exactly what we want them to do. And we owe all these brave young people an extraordinary debt of gratitude. But we cannot stop there. There's obviously more that we have to do to keep our students safe. And that's why here today I will sign a presidential memorandum creating the White House Task Force to protect students from sexual assault. And we're going to work with colleges and universities and educational institutions of all kinds across America to help them come up with better ways to prevent and respond to sexual assault on their campuses. And then we'll help them put those ideas into practice. Because our schools need to be places where our young people feel secure and confident as they prepare to go as far as their God-given talents can carry them. And none of this is going to be easy. Some of you have worked on these issues for years. You know how long it took for our country to get to where we are now. And it didn't just take new laws. It took a fundamental change in our culture, a shift in our attitudes about how we think about sexual violence and how much we value the lives and dignity of our wives and sisters and daughters and sons. And over time, we've become a better, stronger nation for it. But now it's up to each of us, every single one of us, to keep up that momentum.